All right, so we're back for turn 81 of Hell in the Hedgerows, and it's going to be a messy one. We've got our uh, push moving in on the crossing objective, and we've already taken some casualties and dished some casualties out. So we'll see how it goes over here. We'll see if we can't get a toehold, and if possible, see if we can't exploit into the objective, because uh, the deeper we can get into it, the harder it's going to be for Jen to kick us out. The problem is, obviously... That's going to be a uh, even messier than just getting in in the first place. So uh, there's this Sten Gunner who's like comic. He's just mowing down Pixel Tripping all over the place at the moment. And um, we'll see if we can't get him suppressed so we can move up and frag him. Uh, and in other news. Oh, that's about it. Everything else has kind of died down a bit. Uh, this Panther's just about getting into position. We'll see if it can't get eyes on anything. Uh, up here, it looks like Jen's moved all three of his Shermans, or sorry, two Shermans and an Achilles up here to put fire down uh, into this area so we can't really cross, uh, you know, so we can't move up into the uh, the rail bridge objective, but that's okay because we're really focusing over here now. So uh, we're going to press go and we're going to watch all these icons down here start flashing and uh, watch all these terrible things happen. And it uh, looks like uh, Jen might be shuffling the... Uh, oh, yeah, there we go. Might be shuffling some tanks over this way to support the uh, the crossing. Looks like he's definitely pushing infantry up. And it's probably casualties for everyone down there. Yep, there's a tank popped back up. Let's see if we can't... Hmm, that, uh, that hit marker there is probably the uh, Kubelvard in this down there. I think it's definitely getting messy. I want to find out who's spotting that uh, tank contact up there. It's a... Uh, Yep, that got messy quick. Then let's uh, do a quick check over here because it looked like Jem was shelling this area with one of the six pounders. He's got a six pounder up there, and it uh, looks like it was putting some rounds in on the HMG team here. And yep, they decided they need to be somewhere else. We're going to have to move them back on the next turn. And have we got anything else going on? Around here, no, not really. Uh, some of Jen's troops moving back up, back up the field. It's not because he's running away. It's probably because he decided that uh, they need to go and uh, hop in a carrier and come over to this side. So let's see what we get over here. Let's watch it from uh, the other side. So that Sten gun has been uh, putting some oblique fire in on those guys through the gap in the uh, in the hedge. And yeah, we've got a bit of suppression on them there, which is good. Uh, but of course, Jen's probably got his buddies running across the road here. Uh, oh, we actually got some bodies up to the hedgerow. That's good. Even if they are getting uh, Bren guns to death there. Yeah, and hand grenaded. Yep, lots of hand grenades. And yeah, no, surpri no surprises that those guys are running away there. Yeah, very messy. The issue is, I said in the last one, you'd never normally move up to attack an enemy position like this. 
for obvious reasons, everybody's dying. The issue is that we can't... What we usually do is either flank the position, which we can't do, or suppress the uh, the enemy so that they're keeping their heads down and you can run up and hand grenade them. But we can't do that either. So... To some extent, if this is going to succeed, it's going to be an exercise in throwing bodies at it in enough volume to get results. And, you know... That's never going to go well, broadly speaking. A, we don't have enough bodies, <laughs> and B, it's it's not even particularly likely to put us into a winning position. It's one of those headquarters units has uh, moved up there as the radio man. Yeah, we didn't even particularly get any extra spots, so, uh, hmm. Let's see, what is this back here? It's just a Sherman, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, no, it's not the recruit one, because it doesn't have a big hole in the top. It'd be worth moving a panther up to take a pot shot at that. We could probably quite safely move the, uh, the panther down this road here. Possibly. We'll see. Uh, but down here we need to get uh, these guys up and running and putting fire out, pretty much. Uh, that area fire we did where the uh, the overlapping, the uh, like overfiring shots going through the enemy position was actually kind of effective. That's probably our best bet here. That's our best chance. So we better... Order the guys to get uh, stuck into doing that. We're just going to have to expend ammunition in vast, vast quantities here. And you guys can't do it. No, that's disgusting. You guys can see that guy, but you can't do anything about it. You guys can't attack down there because the reverse slope option. Uh. See what I mean about it being just awkward. But essentially, we really don't have any choice. As I've uh, pointed out, I'm trying to get the Panther forward at least, and maybe kill a Sherman, but. How's this one doing? Can this one actually see anything? Sort of. It's not impossible we might see something if uh, Jen pushes some troops that way. Uh, but pretty much here, we need these guys to. We still no, we can't. They're all shaken, so we can't give them any orders. What we need is for uh, those guys to pretty much just get stuck in, and these guys, and everybody. 
I'm not massively optimistic about this, but literally don't have any options. It's not a... Uh, not a good situation. You guys there where you can cover through that gap. Sneaking up here. Never know what we might get out of that. Like I say one of the, the big issues here is that we can't particularly see or do anything. Uh, we can't go upstairs in that house, can we? No, because the uh, roof is missing. Even these guys up on like the uh, if we put them on the upper floor up here. They can't see down here to where our problem area is because it's on the reverse slope, etc., etc. Now we're just going to have to uh, World War One it, as it were, which I don't like, but we don't have any other options, so. Now we'll keep this up for a turn or two. I say a turn or two, turn or three, and then we're going to think about surrendering at least. Uh, because we're not going to be able to make much hedgeway. Hedgeway. Ugh. Too, too much bacage, that's what that is. Uh, too much headway anywhere else. You know, maybe we can get into a position where we can contest the, the crossing at, at least. Maybe. But we're not going to win this. That boat sailed ages ago so let's uh, just press go get this back and we'll see what uh, how this pans out on the left <laughs> 